Perhaps this analogy will help you understand better the concept of salvation through Christ. Imagine you've been bitten by a deadly snake. Its venom courses through your veins, threatening to take your life. No matter how hard you try to fight it on your own, the venom will overwhelm you and leave you helpless, facing certain death. This venom represents sin, which separates us from God, which leads to spiritual death in hell. Now imagine that in your desperate situation, a skilled physician arrives with a vial of antivenin, a powerful substance specifically designed to counteract the deadly effects of the snake's venom. While this antivenin is offered to you free of charge, it came at a huge cost. The physician had to allow himself to be bitten by the snake and suffer its excruciating effects. After this, he painstakingly developed and extracted antibodies from his own blood and refined it into a remedy. This process parallels the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, who, through his death, burial, and resurrection, provides the antidote for sin. Accepting the antivenin involves recognizing the severity of your condition, trusting in the physician's work, and accepting the antidote. As the physician's blood containing the antivenin courses through your body, it neutralizes the deadly venom, reversing its effects and restoring you to health. Similarly, accepting Christ involves trusting in Jesus' sacrifice, acknowledging your sinfulness, and allowing His grace to transform your life. By His blood, you are healed. Just as the antivenin saves you from the deadly venom, accepting the salvation offered by Christ saves us from the consequences of sin, granting us eternal life and restoring our relationship with God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, the great physician, Mark 2.17. Jesus said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Will you make today the day of your salvation? Believe on Jesus today and you will be saved. Blessings. Thanks for watching.